Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all okay. I just wanted to pop on and speak to you all again, just to let you know a little bit more about myself. I've not taken a moment to breathe this week and after that walk in the nature, I just feel so much better. I've been incredibly busy at work recently. My colleague has been off sick, so I've been covering her position as well as my own. I work in the funeral industry as a funeral arranger. So when somebody's passed away, the family uh, come to us and essentially I help to pull the whole day of the funeral together. Uh, we bring the deceased into our care, we take care of them and we do our very, very best to get the funerals exactly right and exactly how the family and the deceased would have wanted it. And it's an industry I've wanted to get into for about two or three years, but it's surprisingly difficult. It is incredibly rewarding. I lost my dad when I was 24, 25. I can't remember, quite a long time ago now. And I can really empathize with grief. He died unexpectedly in Bulgaria with his girlfriend. She was the one who found him. And grief does something to you that is unlike anything else you'll ever experience. You experience feelings that are completely out of your control. You cannot predict how you will behave, how you will feel when somebody you care about passes away. It's a very, gosh, what's the right word? It's a unique experience to every individual. Everybody behaves differently. Everybody responds differently. That was something I've always held in my mind. But I can really empathize when people are grieving and how it just blindsides you. And sometimes your brain just can't function. Everything's a fog. People talk to you and you don't listen. Nothing will go in your brain and your brain can't retain information properly. So I feel like in my job, it's my responsibility to take care of these people and make sure they're looked after. And I really do my very best to make sure everything is done properly. So yeah, so it's very busy. And obviously it's an industry you can't predict from one week to the next how busy you're going to be. But I've been starting early, finishing late, working through lunch breaks, working through any breaks, literally non-stop, which I know I can't do forever. And fortunately, I'm going on holiday at the weekend to Pembrokeshire. So that will give me a bit of a breather, hopefully. When I'm outside in nature, that's when I really start to wind down. This morning, I felt quite low. And I know that's because I've been working a lot. And as soon as I get outside, and start looking at the birds and the bees and the dragonflies floating around the river and seeing all the little ducklings and goslings and we've got some cygnets around here as well. Throughout that walk, I just felt that lift away. So I do hope that if you're feeling stressed, overworked, you can manage to get out somewhere and enjoy nature and just get away from the stress of everything because we all need to do that for our own mental health and our own well-being. Because if we don't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of anybody else. I look forward to hearing how all of you are. I really look forward to your comments every week. It definitely gives me a lift in the morning when I see somebody's written a nice comment on a video. So thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. I am ready for some breakfast and oh, I suppose I'll have a cup of tea as well. <laughs> Okay, thank you as always for watching this video and I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care.